Hello, and welcome to another episode of ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use AOMEI Partition Assistant Home Edition. It's a free for private and commercial use. We're going to use this software to check uh, prop for problems on hard drives or a specific partition on the hard drive. And what this will do, we'll check to see if there's any errors on the partition or if there's any errors on the entire drive. We have two options. I got this drive, which y'all probably are familiar with it by now. Uh, it's my guinea pig. And we're going to use this to demonstrate in this video. Now, you can check a single partition by right-clicking the partition with the mouse. Choose Advance. And then in the sub-menu, you'll see Check Partition. Now, you'll also see it over here, and towards the bottom, to where it says Check Partition. It's also available in the Partition menu at the top. And then choose Advance. And again, choose Check Partition. Now, you have two choices. Now, I've used this before in other tutorials. But in this tutorial, I'm going to go through it with in-depth to show you what to do. Now, you can do two things. You can either check the partition for errors by using check disk. Or you can check whether there are bad sectors, which actually it scans the entire surface of the drive in that partition to check to see if there's any bad sectors. Now we'll use a check disk. And as you can see, it gives you all the information about the drop the partition. And it lets you know if there is any errors at all. Now if there is errors that it has detected, then you need to use the Windows Check Disk program to fix or correct the errors. If this does uh, detect it, we'll choose OK. You need to go to click Start, Computer, and select the drive that detected the errors. So right click the drive and then choose Properties. Then you'll see your properties here. Up here, go to Tools, and then you'll see Error Checking, and then click Check Now. And then choose Continue. Now, Check This will come up, and then the program will allow you to fix any errors that was detected on the partition. And then you just choose Start. Be sure that automatically fix filing system errors is checked. And you choose start. And after it does its job, it will tell you that if the problems were found and if it were fixed. And if they were, you can click on see details and it will tell you what it found and what it repaired. So we'll just click close and exit out. And that's how you can check the partition. The other one that you can do by checking partition, this is using the first option. The second option, we're going to have it check the bad sectors. Now the software will only check for bad sectors. Again, if it does detect a bad sector, you'll need to use Check Disk to uh, relocate that data to another sector. Now, here is the display, and this is what it looks like. And what this does is it actually scans or reads every sector in the partition. 
to check to see if it's bad. And if so, it will let you know. And then all you have to do, you can do like a quick check. Uh, you can have a do a detailed. And let's demonstrate. We can start. Now as you can see, it's going through all of the sectors. Now we're doing a quick check, which is actually uh, doing a, a quick rundown of the sectors. Now up here, it shows you the legend. Each block contains 18.8 .8 megabytes. Of course, it would be different from your computer. It depends on how large the drive is. Now, it sh shows you what the normal blocks look like, which is green, as you can see on here. And if it detects one or a damaged one, it will be in red. Now, over here, it will tell you the bad sector count, how many it's found, how fast it was checking them, and the elapsed time that has taken to uh, check the uh, partition or the drive. And it will tell you an estimated re remaining time to be finished. Down here, it's going to uh, let you know what it's doing, which right now it says checking. And this is a graph as to far, how far it's been completed. Now, quick check just does a quick run over. And as you can see, it's found nothing. Now, if you want a more detailed check, uncheck the box for quick check, and it will do a more detailed uh, analysis of the sectors. Now, as you can see, it's running a little slower. This means that it's doing a more thorough uh, analysis of the partition. Now, over here, you'll notice the differences. The check rate is showing that it's checking 39.8 megabytes per second. This is how fast that it's checking your sectors. Now, your computer will be different. Uh, it's showing the elapsed time, which has only been over 30 seconds, and it's calculated how much time is left. It says it's going to take another 23 and a half minutes. And this is what happens. This is a thorough test. Now, we're only doing a single partition. So let me cancel that out. Now, you can also do a disk surface test which is basically the same thing as I showed you except this will check the entire drive from start to finish and you'll see it once you highlight the disk over here like I have you'll look over here to the left and you'll see disk surface test now again this is basically the same thing that we were doing a while ago, except we were only doing uh, a partition. Now, again, you can do it a thorough scan if you've noticed that there have been problems with your files, or you can do a quick check. Again, it shows you with a legend what each block represents. In this case, now it shows it's 36 megabytes per block. It will identify which ones are normal which ones are damaged that it's detected. It will show you the bad sector count, how many it's found, how fast it's uh, checking them, the elapsed time that it's been into the process, and it's calculated time for it to be finished. Now again you can do a quick check by clicking the box and then choose start. And as you can see, it's going to do the same thing as a partition one did. But this will do the entire hard drive. Now, if you want a more thorough one, you can uncheck the quick check. And then choose start.
and as you can see it's, it's a little slower but it's doing a more thorough analysis of each and every sector on the hard drive and again down here it says the check rate which is just under 40 megabytes per second the elapsed time it's taken so far and the remaining time for it to finish now in this case since I'm going to do the whole entire drive it's going to take about 47 minutes and this is all there is to it now if it does detect anything wrong with the drive you'll need to click start go to computer uh, right click the partition or the drive and you will need to run tools in the properties and then choose air checking and check now now if it does report that there are bad sectors using check disk make sure you check the scan for and attempt recovery of bad sectors what this will do is if it detects the bad sector then it will attempt to recover it what it does is it recovers it it reads the data for the bad sectors and moves it to another sector that's good to where it can automatically transfer data from a bad sector to a good sector so you can use the data and no data is lost and then when you choose that click start and then it will begin well this has been a presentation by ES repair I've showed you how to check your partition for errors and how to correct any errors that may appear and I've shown you how to do a disk surface test that will check the entire hard drive uh, I hope these tutorials have been helpful in using their software. Remember, it is free for private and commercial use. The link to their website to download your own copy is in the descriptions below the video. And I will have a link or the address to their website at the end of the video. Thank you for watching.